Hey y'all, it's Lindsay, and today I wanted to share with you what I bought at Walmart for our grocery haul. We only had a little bit of milk left, um, not much butter, we were just kind of running low on a lot of food, and we desperately needed more. So, I ran to the grocery store this morning by myself. It was, um, it was a pretty good trip overall, like nothing too crazy. Um, around here, I'd say about 75% of the people wear masks. I went to Walmart, followed all the little arrows and the witchy ways and all that jazz, and I picked us up some stuff. Let me show you that. Alrighty, for my grocery haul, this go around, this is mostly what I bought from Walmart. I do have a few cleaning supplies, like gloves and um, things. Also, some items for Lauren, like a pack of diapers, and I got her a couple pairs of shorts, um, and then also these paper goods down here and like a uh, tray for potted plants so that way it doesn't dribble all over our floor. So a couple of few paper goods and then um, the rest of it is pretty much food. Okay, here we go. I grabbed some blackberry and some lime bubbly. We love to have that on hand. The girls love this particular bread. They like my homemade bread, but um, I also like to simplify my life right now. Can you go help your sister please? Okay, so two loaves of that for the girls. Also, the girls love the baby goldfish. I wish they would sell the baby goldfish in the larger pack, like in the big container, but they don't. So three of those for the girls. Caitlin has a few demonstrations for science she needs to do this week, which requires some food stuffs. So I grabbed some chocolate chips. It's a, you know, demonstration thing. It's not meant to be eaten like it, it's not supposed to be something amazing. <laughs> so I just went with the cheaper option of chocolate chips for that. And also some caramel bits. If they would have sold this in a cheaper version, I would have done that. Um, I grabbed some more Baker's chocolate. I like to keep at least, I don't know, three to four of these on hand at all times because I use these for brownies, for chocolate pudding. I use these a lot. Um, and they're unsweetened and they're carb count. Whoop, let's see if it'll focus for me. There it is. There are four carbs per serving and it's only one net carb per serving. So that's a huge win on low carb and keto. I was out of balsamic vinegar and grated Parmesan cheese. We were also out of some chili powder and some cumin. I don't know what is going on here. Why are you not focusing camera? This is the girl's favorite kind of jelly. The Welsh is natural and strawberry. And then I was almost out of avocado oil. So I had grabbed another jar of that. I like to make my own ketchup whenever I'm in the right headspace, but I haven't been there right now. So I opted to buy some of the G Hughes sugar-free ketchup. We have used this plenty of times. It is delicious. I went ahead and bought three containers of that because they're kind of hard to find in our, our grocery stores right now, so I wanted to make sure to have that on hand. Um, let's go back here. I don't usually buy um, canned vegetables at all except for tomatoes. So, uh, baby, we're not cleaning dishes right now. Stop, please. So I grabbed two cans of the petite diced tomatoes. I was completely out of all of my tomatoes. Um, I bought six cans of tomato sauce. They didn't have the larger jars, otherwise, or cans, otherwise I would have bought that. And I bought two more tomato paste jars. The girls really like these bunny grams for snacks sometimes, so that is for them. Yes, your bunnies, but I'm gonna finish talking, all right? And then we were completely out of coffee, so I grabbed two of these larger 20 ounce bags of the caribou coffee. The caribou blend is one of my personal favorites. And then I also like to have some decaf on hand. Um, such a better deal to buy them in the large bags. I wish they sold the decaf in the large bags, but they don't. All right, the girls requested, baby, can I? Shh, mama's talking. I bought the girls some popping corn because they requested popcorn. Um, I do like to have pure on hand. I buy a lot of my sweeteners on Amazon because it's less expensive, but whenever I'm out of pure, I will snag a bag at Walmart. And um, our Walmart has the Lily's baking chips in stock. They're very limited supply right now. So I went ahead and grabbed two bags of those because I don't know when I'm gonna go back or if they will be in stock the next time I go back. Um, I bought this jar because I feel like I want to put some more baking mixes into that, um, like specialized, like a pre-made 
cookie mix like I've already got, um, and then, you know, just pre-done mixes. <laughs> anyway, for the girls and for us, I got some roasted turkey deli meat. I like this brand and the smoked ham. I grabbed a large pack of chicken to use throughout the week. And the girls and I and Jared, we all love pigs in a blanket, so I grabbed two packages of the Beef Little Smokies. We like the beef ones better than the regular ones. All right, on to the dairy. I like to buy my own mozzarella, like a pound of mozzarella and then do my own shredding. I don't particularly care for this exact one, but it's all that they had. I, they have a different one that looks a little bit more like a mozzarella ball. I prefer that one, but that'll do for what we want. I got two packages of the Pepper Jack sliced cheese. Jared and I love this. Oh, you eat this with some pecans and it's just fantastic snack. Okay, also the mild cheddar ultra thin. They didn't have, we really like the family packs because it's obviously less expensive, but um, making the cheese stretch further is a big thing. So I grabbed one of the thin ones so we can use that. Um, two pounds of butter. I did get these crescent dough sheets. Um, sometimes we will do our own dough. Why is this not focusing? We will make our own dough and um, make pigs in a blanket that way. I make them low carb for me and Jared so we don't eat the ones that are made with this. This is something the girls can help with really easily and we can put it in the air fryer for a super fast turnaround from start to finish for lunch. All right, heavy whipping cream, one quart. I got three jugs of the Fairlife whole milk for the girls and a half gallon of half and half. And then the larger like three quart jug of um, unsweetened original almond milk. I use this one for Lauren and Molly for drinking milk. I use these for Caitlin and for um, making yogurt. And finally produce. I grabbed a bunch of bananas for the girls. I grabbed a package of mushrooms. We like to chop that up really finely to add to our ground meat um, to just sort of stretch it further. That's right, it's your milk, baby. I grabbed some of these little mini cucumbers. Lauren and Caitlin like cucumbers, so I'm hopeful that I can um, moderate how many they eat for a snack rather than just like letting them go ham on an entire cucumber sliced up. So that is for <laughs> snacking. I grabbed green, yellow, red, and orange bell peppers for my pepper box, which I do weekly um, or as often as I buy peppers. One pound of spring mix. I grabbed two pounds of radishes that are already tops sliced off. I find that this is a little bit less expensive and it's less work than buying the bunches of radishes at the produce section. I also grabbed two of these um, large English cucumbers. We do like to have cucumbers often at dinner time, but if I were to just slice one of these up, Caitlin and Lauren would devour that in, in nanoseconds. So. I know it sounds silly to have two different types of cucumbers, but it made sense at the store. <laughs> okay, green onions is the last thing I got food-wise for this grocery haul. We have been loving these. We've also been replanting the root section because that's a fun little observation science adventure. And there we go. Okay, that is everything I bought for food and a few extras this week at Walmart. Okay, I knew something felt a little bit off that didn't quite seem like everything I had bought, and I turned around, found these um, in the bag. So anyway, the rest of the grocery haul is as such. I grabbed one of these packages of Brussels sprouts, that's one pound, one container, what is that, a 12 ounce, is that two pints, I don't know, blackberries, the larger pack of raspberries that Lauren is desperate to get a hold of, three of these heads of garlic. Baby, can mama finish for just two nanoseconds? One pound of strawberries. In this sack there is some fresh cilantro. I grabbed three crowns of fresh broccoli. Very inexpensive. And then I bought three zucchini in here. And I also got some of these little sweet peppers, the miniature ones. I like to turn these into like little nachos, super delicious. I grabbed a package of some on the vine tomatoes 
and two white onions. The girls like to have pretzel sticks with their lunch and 18 eggs. I knew it didn't feel right. Okay, <laughs> now that I've shown you everything we bought, except for those few little things that I had to get for Lauren and the couple of cleaning supplies, like we needed some little trash bags and things, and I know I could have just used the grocery sacks. It, I don't know, I just, I like to use actual trash can liners. I just, that's my thing. Okay, not my only thing, but it's a thing. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, some of those things were definitely not trim healthy mama friendly. They were not keto friendly, not low carb friendly, especially things like the bread and the chocolate bits and things. Um, and then the girls snacks. We do prefer to limit the amount of sugar they consume, but we are also um, willing to let them enjoy things at the same time. So we're not um, hyper strenuous and strict when it comes to those kinds of things. If I have a sugar-free treat or um, candy that I've made and they want some, I happily hand them that instead of letting them eat, um, you know, the, the bunny grams or the goldfish or whatever. But on those days, whenever I'm like, ooh, that single serve chocolate chip cookie is mine. That's mama's. No, you may not have that. Then they can be free to eat their special snacks. So anyway, um, I don't really have any kind of specific meal plan for these items, but I do plan, um, I plan to film a couple of, of the food items that we do make this week so that I can share those with you because those pigs in a blanket that I make that are not on fathead dough really turn out super well. We really like those a lot. So, I've said so four times. Stop it. That is all that I have for you today. Thank you so much for coming along with me. I would love for you to subscribe if you are interested in doing that. And I will see you in the next video.